Okay guys, so we're going to do another Americana variation and what I want to instill in you guys is even, this is even more important than the one submission I'm teaching you. Since we already saw the defenses to the Americana, what every single move has in Jiu Jitsu is central problems that are associated with that move. This is called central problem theory. And if we can defeat or stay in between or have an answer for the central problems that are associated with that move, then we can easily be able to finish and get that move. Think about the best submissions that you know. The best submissions that you know, you have an awareness of how your opponent is going to defend and you have some answers as to how to stop those defenses. So, just a quick review. If Predator is going to get me in an Americana, first thing that I don't want to have is I don't want to just have this arm flailing uh, around here. If I have it flailing, then Predator has a good opportunity to start to lock this in. Okay. Um, another point about the Americana is if Predator takes this arm and he goes over my head to start finishing this Americana, I have great elbow push escape options. Okay. If I am framing and I keep good position here, um, by the time Predator goes for the Americana, he's actually let go of side control and I'm already into my escape. And even if he's pinned this already here, go ahead, and he starts to go for the Americana, I can keep it trapped on this side. So here, are, these are the central problems that are associated with the Americana. So let's switch it around, Predator. If we can overcome these central problems, then we, if we can shut down all of their defenses, then we should have no problem in being able to get the Americana. So two of those, one where he does the elbow push escape here, and where he controls around my arm to stop me from getting to the Americana, I can knock two of those problems off right away. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna switch to a Kazuri Casey Katami, and I'm going to grab onto his wrist. I could easily find his arm here, and I could grab onto his wrist and pin this to the floor. Now, Predator, try to do that elbow push escape. He can't because his arm is trapped. Try to stop me from moving my hand around one side of your head to the other. He can't because his arm is trapped. So I've knocked off two of the most important um, problems with the Americana. Now, how are we going to get this arm in a position where um, I could do the Americana. Well, first off, if I go here and I pin this down, he could use a diagonal control method where he keeps this leg on the floor, he lifts his hips up, and I could never get underneath this hand here. And this is a major problem, okay? So I need to overcome this problem and if he's smart and at a higher level, he's not just gonna leave this hand out here floating in the breeze for me to start getting underneath it, okay? So he's gonna be keeping good hand positioning. So what I'm gonna do is I have a couple different methods here and it's gonna be about dealing with this arm since I've already killed and isolated his other one, okay? First one you see a lot in MMA, where John Jones, he was able to throw great punches, elbows, and strikes to the person's head. Then from here, they have to defend their head in some instance, or else they're gonna get knocked out or the fight's gonna stop. So he takes his hand 
through to start defending his head. And as soon as he does, he gives me the Americana finish from here. This was most famously done by John Jones, where he submitted Vitor Belfort with this method. Another way that we're going to do this, maybe it's more of a grappling sense. He can't just keep his arm in this position because I have uh, potential arm locks that I could go for. I have potential Kimuras that I could go for. So at some point, he has to bring this arm through. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab onto my own lapel so that now this hand is stuck in this gap right in here. And I'm gonna put my hand on my own head, okay? I'm gonna stay patient here. If he stays here, then I have my armbar and my Kimura options. But as soon as he goes to defend, I bring it straight through to my other hand to finish an Americana that way. But let's say now the final variation where he sneaks this hand underneath the chin here and he starts to have a good frame, okay? Now this is a little bit troubling for me. So what I'm gonna do here, guys, is I'm going to open up the lapel here. I'm gonna grab this as a pistol grip and keep this nice and tight printer. Keep even a grip if you can with this hand, okay? I'm gonna reinforce this with my other arm. And if you see, I use my underhook to stop him from being able to use this defense where I can't pin it down and get underneath. My underhook is already underneath, okay? So I go here, I get a pistol grip, and I reinforce this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use both of my hands and my shoulder here to break this grip. Then I go through and I have the Americana the same way. And in this way, even if he's kept good positioning with this arm and slid it through, I have all of my Americana options. And I've killed all of the defenses that he could possibly have to stop it. So keeping things like this in mind, Thank you, Predator, could move you from a technique that is not as effective to a technique that is way more effective because I've done things where I increase my control that leads to a submission and I've shut down all the possible central problems associated with that move. So now we can start taking the Americana and bring it into a higher level of practicing from doing these things. Thank you.